Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the Family Chit Chat. And last weekend, we had a really big weekend in which we had Good Friday, where Jesus died on the, for our sins. And then we had Easter, where Jesus overcame death and rose to life again. But do you ever ask yourself the question, why did Jesus have to die? That's a great question. I hope you have asked that. And I hope over the past weekend you've discussed that with your friends and family. But why did Jesus have to die? Well, if you don't know, let me tell you the story real quick. Years and years and years and years, millions of years ago, when God created the heavens and the earth and he created man and woman, Adam and Eve, God had a great relationship with them and everything was perfect. In fact, it said everything was very good in God's eyes. But unfortunately, Adam and Eve disobeyed God in this one critical area. God told them something specific not to do and Adam and Eve did that. And when they did, they, they introduced into the world a thing called sin. Sin entered the world, nothing was perfect anymore. That includes you and I, that we were born into this world where sin rules and that nothing is perfect anymore. Well, that wasn't acceptable to God. And God, that broke his heart that he did not have a good relationship with Adam and Eve anymore or any of the following descendants. So God sent his son Jesus to rectify that. And what I want you to do right now is I want you to take a few minutes to see how Jesus rectified that, how Jesus brought that relationship between humans and God together again. So take a few minutes, pause the video, discuss the questions, and when you're ready to continue, press play, and we'll go from there. When sin entered the world, there was a barrier between us and God. And as this barrier was huge, it was wide, it was infinitely high, and infinitely strong, there was nothing that humans could do to get rid of that barrier. But there was something that God could do. And it was what he did by sending his son Jesus to tear down that wall with his death. So it really goes to show that God cared for us. He cared for us so much. As John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he sent Jesus to die for our sins. It really proves how much God cared for us. By Jesus dying for our sins, not only does it show us how much God cares for us and how much he loves us, but it brought peace to the situation. And that's kind of what we're talking about all month long. We're talking about peace. And God brought peace between humans and himself with Jesus' death. That, that sin wall is no longer a barrier between us having a relationship with God again. And it kind of ties into our Bible verse for the month. It's Romans 14, 19. It says, so let us do all we can to live in peace and let us work hard to build each other up. Say it again. So let us do all we can to live in peace and let us work hard to build each other up. I would encourage you to memorize that verse this month and talk about how you can have peace with one another just as God has peace with us that we can have peace with God and other people. All right, that's it for today. I hope you guys have peace this week and I'll see you next time.